and forth came to be. I'm telling you the truth, all right? I'm not making it up. If you evolved here in this solar system alone, you'll have some melanin in your skin, but you don't. And you came from the Caucasus Mountains, from a goddamn ship, okay? A base that was in the Caucasus Mountains, the Caucasus Mountains. Well, I say the Caucasus, okay? You used the term Caucasus in elections, all right? You are a Caucasian. Wake up! I want you white folks to fucking wake up! I'm talking to you motherfuckers in the Pentagon. I'm talking to you motherfuckers in Washington. Wake the fuck up! Give me some weapons. Give me what I need to defeat these motherfuckers. Because y'all y'all not doing it. You not doing it, and you ain't gonna do it. You don't even know what the fuck to do. You don't know what the fuck to do. I mean, all you need to do is bring the fight to them. That's all you need to do. You need to just like the 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 the, the uh. The Americans here kicked the shit out of the British, okay? They kept they kicked the shit out of the Red Coast. You motherfuckers need to do the same. You need to do the same to the reptilians. Stop making the lies. Stop selling out. If you find somebody selling out, you need to kill them. All right? There's no room for no more mistakes because the whole the whole human race is at stake. Okay? It is at stake. Stop coming up with bullshit and all this bureaucracy and all this shit here. You need to let somebody know. You need to give give me some fucking weapons, okay? Give me some weapons to get the job done. I don't give a damn if I have to drop 300 fucking pounds of nukes on my back and roll a fucking wheelbarrow with six more, 600 more pounds in a fucking wheelbarrow. Get me down there. I'll get the goddamn job done. Because you motherfuckers ain't getting it done. You are not getting it done. You sent 80 motherfuckers down there to die in the 80s. Okay? 80 men down there to die for nothing. Give me the fucking weapons I need to get the shit done. It's going to take the doctor for, to perform surgery. Alright? Give me the tools to perform the surgery. Give me the fucking nukes to go down there and nuke them bastards. Okay? Bunker Buster missiles ain't gonna get the job done. Some fucking nukes will get the job done. Alright? That's the only option we have. Is to nuke them motherfuckers. And give me some fucking nukes. Get me down there. Get me down there. I can do it on 10 fucking minutes notice. Get me down there in a hole to nuke them bastards. Okay? You white folks need to stop. You need to stop. Because you know what? Your children. Your children as at, at stake, if you keep avoiding the problem and you keep putting it on the vaccine of your children, it ain't gonna get done. They gonna say, fuck it, we're gonna leave it to our children. And that's the problem. That's the problem. These motherfucking reptilians, they only prosper. They don't know what a loss means. Okay? They don't know what a fucking loss means. You can't cut deals with them. You cannot. No deals. Like I said, the only deal you can cut with them is they die by your fucking hand. That's the only deal you can cut with them. Other than that, it won't be no deal. And the sad part about it, there ain't that many of them. It is not that many of them. You need to use some fucking nukes. You need to use some nukes. Stop going around in other countries, bombing the shit out of people. That ain't, that ain't no real threat. Because the real threat is right here on U.S. soil. It's right there in Duce Vase, okay? Deep underground fucking bases. And you motherfuckers just, you know, twiddling your damn thumbs. Wishful thinking, well things might get better. We can cut a deal with them. We can make a peace treaty. No, there won't be no fucking peace. There won't be. Because whether you know it or not, I'm talking to you motherfuckers in the Pentagon. I'm talking to you motherfuckers that's, 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 that's in the NSA. Okay? You listen to a black man. That's what you need to do. Every fucking thing that you've been trying ain't been working. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't like your asses can just go and leave the fucking planet and survive. 
You're going to need people to help you. You're going to need people to grow your goddamn food. It wasn't meant for man to live on no damn ship in space. This is temporarily. Man was meant to live on a fucking planet. Alright? I'm sick of you motherfuckers not getting the job done. Get the job done. Okay? Get it done. You ain't got no real man, no real men in your fucking facilities, okay? That was gonna get the goddamn job done. You motherfuckers hire people based on the color of their skin and how much bullshit they got to go along with them. Attitude and bullshit. No fucking results. Y'all need to get the job done. You got nukes, fucking use them. Use them on these motherfuckers. You need to send a message. Stop worrying about bombing people in the Middle East. Stop worrying about, stop worrying about them because automatically when you send a fucking message, half of the problems on the planet will disappear overnight. I'm sick of you motherfuckers not getting the job done. You don't want to get the job done. Move over and let somebody else to get, get the goddamn job done. Move over and let somebody get the job done if you're not getting it done. Now you white folks on Main Street, I mean, you get caught up in this illusion. Okay? That you better than most people on this planet. You, we, like I said, we all in the same goddamn boat. And you really need to open your eyes and wake up. Okay? You open your eyes and wake up. The black man is not your goddamn enemy. He is not. You done whooped on a black man and beat the spirit out of him. He is not your enemy. Okay? A lot of your motherfucking advances was because of black men. Technological and social. Alright? Don't bullshit me and say it's not. God damn it. it isn't. Don't bullshit me and say it's not. Because when I turn on the goddamn TV and watch the LPV and I see white boys beatboxing doing all that shit, okay? With something that black folks are doing in the 80s and you motherfuckers look down upon it what is white folks doing it now? Let me ask you something. Who's named as the best rapper, okay? Who's named as the best rapper in the hip-hop industry besides Lil Wayne? I'm going to tell you who. A white boy by the name of Eminem, okay? A white boy by the name of Eminem. Even back in the, back in the 80s. Huh? Who was named as, as, as one of the best uh, three-pointer three uh, shooters in the NBA. Larry Bird? Hmm? What the, what, the, what the fuck they learn that from? I guess they learn that from y'all. Even though a, a goddamn industry that's dominated by black folks, I guess they just learned it from out of the blue. And this is just this, this, this time frame. You white folks need to wake up, okay? You white folks need to wake up. You becoming the new black person. You becoming what we used to be. Jamie Kennedy making a movie, kicking the old school. Breakdancing and shit like that. You gonna watch some old movies with breakdancing, you gonna see nothing but blacks and Hispanics doing it. You ain't gonna really see no white folks doing it. Cause y'all ain't had no goddamn rhythm back then. We gave you rhythm, we gave you soul. We gave you every motherfucking thing. Everything. Everything except for our soul. Every fucking thing. Cut all that nonsense out. Give, give credit to where it's due. Okay? Give it where it is fucking due. Because black folks, we made a lot of shit. We contribute a lot of shit to this planet. Just in the U.S. alone, the free labor, just on that alone. If you didn't have us in this goddamn country, 
you can be like the British or, or the Soviet Union. We make this damn country what it is today, whether you like it or not. I'm telling the truth. Blacks and Hispanics make this, we do the shit that you don't want to do. Plain and simple, we do the shit that you don't want to do, that you wouldn't even have your children do. That's why I say you motherfuckers in the Pentagon, the NSA, any other of them say, give me some motherfucking nukes. Give me the weapons I need. I won't use them on your ass. Because they won't benefit me to use them. That's not my real, you ain't my enemy. You are not my fucking enemy. It's the reptilians that's the enemy of humanity. Okay? You can't keep cutting deals with them and expect them to come out ahead. You cannot. Look at the conditions on this goddamn planet. They ain't contributing you to shit to make it better than what it is. And if they do, guess what? They will nuke the whole goddamn planet. They will make sure they get rid of everybody. Just like they once did before. Why do you think we the size that we are? There was giants in the earth a long time ago. Different half-breed species. Some of them even hideous. But they said, fuck it, we gonna create but we, the, the, the planet the way we want, we won't have who we want on this planet from now. And that's how things are the way they are right now. Because, trust me, if there was a, 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 a 15 foot high human being, a human being walking around, all the buildings wouldn't be the same goddamn size. Okay? You have to make different size automobiles and shit. The accommodate people, they put us one, all in one motherfucking bracket, okay? They say, this is our form. This the way we gonna run shit. And y'all going cut deals with them. That's why I say, give me the fucking weapons that I need to get rid of them. You ain't gotta get your goddamn hands dirty. Because you motherfucking scared to do it in the first place. Written policy and all that shit. Fuck the bureaucracy. Alright? It comes a point in time where you need to step in and get shit done. Alright? And be held accountable for it later. These motherfuckers are an immediate threat to us. And they need to be disposed of. Immediately. You don't have nobody else to turn to. Or the trust. Because the people on this planet, this is your family. The people on this planet is your fucking family. Extraterrestrials coming from our space ain't your family. They might be a distant cousin or some shit like that. But they're family. You'll be benefiting. You'll prosper just like they do. You'll be riding around in ships just like they do. You'll have the technology that they do to regenerate your DNA, okay? If you lose a, self, lose a fucking finger, you can grow another. If you lose a tooth, you can grow another. You gonna unlock the rest of your DNA. I'm sick and tired of people not seeing what the fuck is really going on. And you wonder why reptilians look at us like some fucking monkeys. That's the way they see us. They say, look at these fucking monkeys. We rule over these fucking monkeys. They cannot defeat us. That's how arrogant they are, and they are somewhat fucking right. Okay? Because they run, they run hurdles around us. They fucking run it. Now, I'm going to get on you white folks for a second. Because I want to clear this shit up again. The Anunnaki did not create black folks to be slaves. Okay? They did not. Help us? Work us? Yes. Slaves? Fuck no. And I'm going to tell you white folks how I know it. First hand. Alright? Not because I have RH negative blood type. It's because I watch you white folks. Okay? I want you white folks to think. You own slaves. Your, your forefathers own slaves. Okay? A true slave. 